Welcome to Truckin' Tuesday by Race Grooves. I did a race on Truckin' Transporter and Funkatron said that I should do a Truckin' Tuesday on the drones version of the Truckin' Transporters. Not only was the truck decorated with drones graphics, it also included a racing drone, RD05. You see, back in 2005, there was an Accelerators movie and the racing drones was one of the segments. There's RD05, same truck, same vehicle, I mean. We'll take a look at the differences in a moment. This is the Accelerators. This is the original set. They did do some uh, variations afterwards like this one. These are the original Accelerators and these are subsequent series. Here's RD05. You got a nice decoration in this set as well. The Accelerators had four segments. Racing drones. They're kind of like the villains. Silencers, Metal Maniacs, and Teku. Here's a close-up of RD05, one of the racing drones. Here is Iridium, one of the silencers. Now for the Teku, the Teku Teku, here we have Battle Spec. And for Metal Maniacs, here's Spinebuster. Oh yeah. Oh no. Let's check out the back of the package. You can see that the truck has articulation, the flatbed rolls out and we'll be able to unload our vehicles. Hey, 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 check it out. It says it includes hyperliner. Hyperliner? Uh, that's not a hyperliner. Oh, now that I think about it, you know who hyperliner kind of looks like? Hmm. Well, this is kind of interesting too. Hyperliner. I talked about this in a Truckin' Tuesday video as well. It was a pop-off. You can pop off the body. Check it out. I did a video with ground effects and it was a it came with a truck and transporter and it had a pop-off body as well. Uh, pop-offs are uh, no more. I don't think that we'll see pop-offs anymore. Our combat hauler has a copyright of 2009. It's about five years after the accelerators. Pretty cool for them to give tribute to the uh, vehicle as well as the, the segment racing drones. Ah, very nice. Let's check them out. Even on the front of the package, it shows the moving capabilities of the truck bed. Let's go ahead and see how that pulls out. Oh, that was pretty smooth. Comes out. Does it go out far enough for it to tilt down? Oh, yeah. What's in there? A little ball joint or something? Must be a ball, ball joint the way it pivots. Well, let's go ahead and open up the tailgate. Up comes RD05. There's a spot for his wheels. Oh, we better hold him. Close the gate. That's okay if he rolls backwards. Lift him up. The cab or the tractor part of this rig, very sleek, very creative. Uh, you know what? I don't know if this thing. Oh! Wow, I didn't even know that. I, I should have checked it out before I started filming. I just, right on the spur of the moment, I thought. It kind of looks like it might move. Look, it's got a couple places for people to sit down to drive. Wow, that was a fantastic surprise. Now, let's see the graphics on this side. So you have uh, three bars plus yellow and green. Let's see what's on the other side. And I'm going to be quiet. We're going to test how, how nicely it rolls. Wow, one of the quietest truck and transporters I've ever tested. By the way, when I do that noise, I use the, the uh, microphone from the camera, not from the one I'm talking with. Yeah, it looks like the graphics are exactly the same. How about right here? Looks like we have gobbledygook, beep, 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 and a spider. Let's see. Uh, hey, they ch turned it around. Because I think that these three were closest to the front. So this must be some phrase. And there's the spider type logo. You can see RD05 has like off-road type tires. Very cool. They have gold chrome. But they don't have the accelerators comb mold tires. Let's go ahead and get him up on the trailer. So that we can compare the two wheels.
Hey, they both fit. Here's the special co-mold tires that were used for the Acceleracer series. They actually co-molded the green plastic part with the silver plastic part. By the way, these are six spoke co-molds, the tooling broke. So some of the Acceleracers, you can get them with six spoke and five spoke. I'm pretty sure that the six spoke broke. Oh, this is another cool thing to notice right here. They used to do this too. They used to have the Hot Wheels logo pop out in the base. And right here, you can see inside, you can see the silver part of the rim right through the clear part of the wheel. That's co-mold tires. Now these here, man, they didn't give it the special co-mold tires. But still, you know, still looks fantastic. They gave it practically the same design, same stripes, a little bit different. It's more of a solid green and green and white. Hey, the logo right here, that logo is more white whereas the Acceleracers version, yeah, definitely greenish. Let's check out the hoods. Same design, just a little bit of a difference in the color presentation. As for the truck, it has a hitch right there. This is, that's very cool that this opens up. I'm sure they use this cab on other, other truck and transporters as well. So if you, if you see this kind of a design, that's a pretty cool one to have. I wanna see, it should pop apart. Let's get our racing drones off of the truck. Now let's check out, uh, actually, actually, I take that back. Uh, they probably don't want this to come apart. You might be able to yank it apart, but mm, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do that. There's a winch, so this way if, you're, if your vehicle is disabled, you would have your car right here, and then you would pretend that the winch, the hook from the winch is coming all the way down, getting your truck, getting your uh, towed vehicle. You would hook the winch in underneath here and you'd pretend that you'd be winding up your truck into your uh, your car up into the truck. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath there if you want to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, by the way, let's take a look at the base. Uh, I don't think it has a name, but we'll take a look. Uh, look, its name is Mattel China. No, no name on the base. And it's, look over here. No, no specific name for the truck. Another thing to note is that RD05 had a separate plastic spoiler. You can, you can see it's a different color than the body. That's a separate plastic piece. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell it's moving. Well, here's a gold chrome version of RD05. You can tell it's a separate piece for sure now because look, it's black. Here's a holiday version, it's black. Here's a recent version, it's, uh, it's the same color as the body. So you might want to pick up an older version of RD05. It has a separate spoiler. That's kind of nice to have a separate piece. Nowadays, Mattel is reducing cost, reducing parts. So RD05, as well as other Hot Wheels models, are going to have these spoilers cast as part of the body. Thank you for the comment. You know I was going to get to them eventually. As far as this big behemoth, yeah, I did a review on him as well. You can click on him to see my review of the drone sweeper. Or here's a couple other links. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.